What's going on guys, Renan Gaming back with another MLB Show 22 video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the brand new predictions for the 6-24 roster update that I have today. If you do enjoy today's video, please hit, hit that like button and subscribe. Best way to support the channel by far. Let's get into it. So, I separated all the players into three separate categories. High, medium, and low. The guys in the high category are the guys I think will, will go up a tier. They will go up to the next tier and will be able to make a profit. The medium guys, I think they have a chance, but I'm not 100% positive on. And then the low guys are more long-term investments. Guys who have been playing well, but are not at a position where they could go up to the next overall. So, let's get into it. The first guys we're going to be talking about are 90 pluses. And the first 90 plus is going to be Garrett Cole. He just pitched seven no-hit innings against the Tampa Bay Rays. Pitched amazing. And he had another great start before that one. He's an absolute lock to go 90 plus in my opinion. He's getting there 100%. No doubt in my mind that he will be a 90 plus card after uh, on Friday. The next guy is going to be CJ Crone. He's going to be in the low category. I think he's been playing very well. I think he has a chance later down the line to go up to that 90 plus. But this roster update is not this one. He's not been playing. He's been playing great. He just had 86 overall. He won't get up enough to go to uh, 90 plus. He's more of a long-term type of guy if you want to invest in him. Next guy is Luis Robert, another guy in the low category. I just don't think he's been playing well enough to get up three overall points. But he has been hitting very well. A lot of contact, a lot of hits. He's a guy long-term. I think he'll definitely go up for this roster update. But I'm not sure if he'll go up to 90 plus. I'm pretty sure he won't. I also have him in the low category. And our final, final 90 plus guy. Not a ton of them in this roster update. Is Shane McClanahan. He just pitched pretty well against the Yankees. I do I think it's good enough to get up to a 90 plus? Probably not. I have him in the medium category. Maybe the SCS will be generous and get him up three overall points. Personally, I don't think that they'll be able to do that though. I think he'll go up to an 89, but I don't think he'll go up to a 90 plus. But you know, he's in the medium. He definitely has a chance. The next category is going to be going diamond. That is going to be the most popular category by far. So let's take a look at some of the guys. First guy I'm going to talk about is Sandy Alcantara. I have him in the high category. He's pitching so well this season. Had a little bit of a rough patch uh, recently in this last few starts that he's been having. But he's been pitching so well this season. He deserves to be a 90 plus. I mean, not 90 plus. He deserves to be a diamond. He's pitching so well this season. SES, just give it to him. Please, just give it to him. He's well deserving of it. Just get him up one overall point. It shouldn't be that hard. Sandy Alcantara, I have him in the high category. Keep going. We got the next guy. We got Nestor Cortez Jr. I have him in the medium category. Just had a very shaky start against the Rays. Did not pitch his best baseball. But he has pitched well to start before that against the same team. So maybe it cancels out. I'm not really sure. I have him in the medium category. I think he does have a chance to go up to one overall point to maybe get there. But I'm honestly not sure. I hope he does. He's one of the guys I invested in. But I'm honestly a little shaky and a little on the fence about Nestor. I'm in the medium category. The next guy that keeps going down here. I got Wilson Contreras. He's been playing his best baseball as of late. Been crushing the baseball in all fours. He's been the Cubs leader for sure. I'm in the high category. Only needs to go up one overall point to get to that diamond rating. SES, just give it to him. He's been playing so well this year. Give him that rating that he so rightfully deserves. Yeah, keep going here. We got Rafael Devers. I have him in the high category. He's been playing so well this season as well. Had a, not his best baseball as of late, but he's been playing well enough to a good enough standard to where he should be an 85 at the very least. He's a player of the month. I don't know how you didn't even get him to the diamond. Just give him that diamond that he deserves, SCS. Just, 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 just do it. Just give him the diamond. He deserves it. I have him in the high category as well. Let's keep it going. We got George Springer. I've been hearing a lot of good things about him. I only, I think he's in the medium category. I think he's being a little overhyped right now. He's been good. I don't think he's been great. So I have him in the medium category. He's been good, not great. So that's the problem I see with him. But he's definitely been playing very well. I have him in the medium category. I'm not entirely sure on him quite yet. We're going to keep going through all this. I actually think I missed someone. Uh, yeah, I missed Rafael Iglesias. I have him in the medium category. He's been starting to pick up, pick it up as of late. He's, he's been looking more like his 2021 self. Does that excuse his poor, um, his poor ones earlier in the year? Maybe not. Maybe he gets up to that level. I'm not sure. I think they're just going to keep him the same as it is, kind of balance it out. But if he keep pitching like he did in 2021, he will get up back up to that diamond overall. I have, I have him in the medium category. I also skipped over Carlos Rodon. He's been starting to pick it up a little bit more lately too. Had a great start of the season and started to hit a rough patch. He is starting today, I'm pretty sure, for the Giants. I'm honestly not entirely sure on that. But judging by the inside edge, he should be starting today. It wouldn't make sense. So if it was a good outing today, I think he has a chance. But right now, I have him in the medium category because he's starting to pick it up. Hasn't picked it up fully, but he's starting to get to that level. Having him in the medium category, he pitches very well today. I think he has a higher chance to go up even more. Let's try not to miss anyone else this time. All right, let's see. We got boom, boom, boom. We got David Bednar. I have him in the medium category. I don't think he'll get up plus two or raw points or lead pitcher. 
but he's been pitching so, so well this season. He's been just dominating as a closer for the Pirates. So I think he has a chance. I think he'll at least go up to an 84. Maybe they'll give me SDS will be generous, give him up to an 85. I'm not sure I have him in the medium category. I think he has a decent chance, but not the best chance out of some of these guys. So we're gonna keep going here. Let's see, anyone else that I had? Nope, nope. I had Zach Wheeler. He's one of my final high guy that I actually have for Golden Diamond. He's been pitching so well this season, and he is starting today for the Philadelphia Phillies. So if he has one more good start, that will definitely secure him and give him a great chance to go up to a diamond overall. He had a bit of a rough start to the season, but he's picked it up so much as of late. Basically had spring training at the few first few starts of the season, so that's kind of why he struggled. But he picks it up to start. He keeps dominating. I can definitely see him going 90 plus, even though he needs to go up plus two overall. Let's keep going here. Let's just take a look, see if I'm missing anyone. Hope I'm not missing anyone. Nope, that's all, all the guys I have on the page. I have Logan Gilbert having a great year. I think he goes up this roster update. I have him in the low category. Just the fact that he's an 81 overall, he is not going uh, getting four overall points to go up. It just won't happen. He's been playing very well. Not good enough to go up plus four overall points. Let's keep going. Godolz Garcia has also been picking up as of late. He's not going up for overall points. That's what's going on. Long-term investment for him. Josh Bell, same thing. Long-term investment. Not going up for overall points. One roster update. Let's keep going. This, that's the same for the most of the rest of the guys we're going to talk about for this one. Hokai Holmes, pitching great. Had a bit of a rough start against the Rays. Still, doesn't matter. He's still been pitching so well. He's going to go up. Not going to go up to a diamond. Same with Manuel Class A, but pitching great. He's not going to go up to a diamond. Same with Rizzo, been playing a lot more like he did in April. He's going to go up, just not to a diamond. And that's the story with, I think that's just about, yeah, I think that's all of our going diamond possible guys. And then we're going to take a look at our final category, which is the silvers to gold. So let's hop into it. The first guy that I'm going to be talking about is going to be Ryan Mountcastle. I think he has a high chance to go up. He's been playing very well for the Orioles as of late. Just He's going up one overall point. I think he has a good solid chance of getting to that level. Next guy, Charlie Blackman, also having the high category. Been playing very well. Been hitting everything for the Rockies. Just get him up one overall point. I think he has a good solid chance. Going to keep scrolling through here. Let's see what else, whatever guys I got popping up. We got Jordan Montgomery. He's pitching today for the Yankees. He is a great start for them today. I think he's locked. I have actually him in the medium category, so I'm not sure if they're going to give him up. Get him up, but he has been having a great season and pitching well as of late. He has a good start today against the Rays. He is going to pay, it's going to be even better, and he will likely have a higher chance. Just because he's pitching today, I can't be 100% positive, so I did put him in the medium category. Let's keep going here. We're going to keep taking a look. Let's see. Uh, Tony Goslin, absolute lock. He's been playing so well for the Dodgers this season. He's been probably the best pitcher in baseball of the 2022 season. 100% lock. He's going up to the goal. There is no doubt in my mind about that. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. If I'm skipping over some guys, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I can't get to everybody. I only want to talk about a certain number of guys. I can't get to everybody. So just let me know in the comments. I might, I'll probably respond to you with my opinion on them. Next guy, Alejandro Kirk. I have him in the low category, but that's just because I don't think he's going to get that boost. I just have a feeling this roster update is not his roster update. I don't know. I have him in the low category. I think he's more of a long-term type of guy you want to invest in. Don't see it happening this roster update. That's just me personally. I just don't see it happening this roster update. Just doesn't seem like his roster update. Next guy, Tyler Anderson. He floored it with a no-hitter. I He might be starting for the Dodgers today if he has that inside edge. Let me check real quick. Is he, Yes, he is starting for the Dodgers today. He's been playing very well. He floored with a no-hitter his last time out. So that's why he. That's why I have him in the medium category. If he pitches well today, he will go up to that 80-plus just because he floored with that no-hitter. And that obviously gets him a much higher chance to go up to that overall. Let's keep going here. We got Logan Webb. I actually have him, I actually have him in the high category. It looks like not a lot of people are investing in him. He's pitching very well as his last couple of starts. He can spin picking it up. Only needs to go up plus two overall points. I have him in the high category, surprisingly. It might surprise a few people. Let's keep going here. Let's see who else do I got on uh, my list. Uh, I think I skipped somebody. I think I skipped somebody. Hold on. Let me see. I'm just going to filter because I, I know there's someone here that I definitely missed. I know it's you. Miles Michaelis. He also flirted with a no-hitter. Did not get it. I think he flirted with a perfect game, actually. But anyway, he's pitching so well. He's been pitching so well this season. I see him as a lock to go up to 90+. plus. I have him in the high category. And the other guy I missed was a Padre. And now Jake Cronenworth. He's been pitching him. He's been not he's not been pitching. He's a, he's, a, he's a position player. What am I talking about? He's been playing so well this season. He's been picking up his place as of late. Been hitting everything. Just turn up the baseball. Also have a high category. Also has him as a lock to go up to that 80 overall there. As we're going to keep going. I'm going to take this just take this filter off. We're just going to scroll through here. 
Hopefully we don't miss anybody this time. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, Cronenworth, Art, and Michaels were down here. I just didn't know if I missed them, so that's why I went back. I I, I took back. Got Andrew Vaughn. He's been playing very well as of late. I don't. I'm in the meeting category just because I don't think he's going up through overall points. But he's definitely going to get a boost. Maybe SCS is generous. Give him up to an 80 plus. But he's been playing so well for the White Sox despite their lack of good play. But he's been playing very well, so that's that's, that's a good thing to see. Uh, we're going to keep scrolling through here. We got Dan Stewan said a lot of people are high on him. I don't see him getting that three overall points. I have him in the low category. Same thing with Alejandro Kirk. I just don't think that, that this is his roster. I think that they're going to boost him. That's just my personal opinion. I just don't think this is his roster update that they're going to boost him. That's that's just my personal opinion. Don't think this, it's his roster update. Let's keep going here. We're going to keep going through the silvers. There's a lot of silvers. I actually think I only have two more guys left to talk about, so I'm just going to filter and find them, make that life easier. I got this from the Red Sox. Nick Pavetta, he's been playing very well this season, but he's 75 overall. He's not going to go up to an 80+. plus. He's not getting five overall point boost. That just is not happening. And then we got the next guy. Let's see here. He's on the uh, he's on the Twins. Yeah, Twins. Sounds Twins. Luis Arise, too low for overall to go up to a 70 uh, to go up to an 80 overall. And obviously, not much left to boost unless it's contact versus lefties and stuff. I mean, he's been great this year, but there's not a whole lot left to boost. He's been playing very well. I just don't see him. It's more of a long-term investment. I have a medium. He's more of a long-term type of guy. See how generous SDS will be to him. But he's been playing very well this season. He deserves some sort of respect. And that's going to basically wrap it up for this roster of the predictions. I'm going to throw all my predictions up on the screen now in a nice little orderly chart. Just, you know, just so you guys can see, you can visualize it, so you don't have to go through all this video, look at every single thing. Chart is right here on the screen. Get your screenshots, get all that stuff out, so you can get a good look, and, you know, let me, and you guys let me know my, your opinions in the comment section down below. Who you guys think is going to go up to a diamond, and who's going to go up to a goal, who's going to go 90 plus, and who let me know what guys I may have missed, and what guys, you know, you guys want to see, maybe, when you talk about more to highlight more. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm your game is the next one. Peace. Thank you so much for watching again.